हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो अबाउट द ऑटोनॉमस इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन कर्नाटका अंडर विश्वेश्वरैया टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी सो दे हैव गॉट एन ऑटोनॉमस स्टेटस सो डेट दे हैव गुड अमाउंट ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डस ऑटोनॉमस स्टेटस मीन्स राइट सो ऑटोनॉमस कॉलेज इज राइट दे कैन रिव्यू देयर कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर दे कैन रीस्ट्रक्चर देयर कोर्सेस एंड सिलेबस एज पर द मॉडर्न यू नो टेक्नोलॉजीज मॉडर्न यू नो लेबोरेटरीज एंड अदर थिंग्स all the autonomous colleges can announce results they can issue mark sheets on their own so you'll see the status right they can decide on the admission rules and fees they can appoint teachers on their own right without evtu permission so that is the point where i was telling that they can appoint teacher staff including principal right and autonomous colleges will be affiliated to university so all the autonomous colleges are also are affiliated with vtu but they have the complete freedom all the autonomous colleges will manage their own fund they can ugc will provide grants some grants fund to these autonomous colleges they they can teach their uh, teachers you know properly seminars redesigning courses exam reforms they can even give money for uh, you know renovation repairs etc because they are best quality so they don't face any problem with respect to the operational issues or the fund or the autonomous autonomy part right autonomous colleges are also affiliated with uh, vtu and non affiliated uh, non autonomous colleges are also affiliated with vtu your degree will come with the stamp of vtu right in both the cases you will get the degree from vtu college name will be mentioned as one line so what i am showing to going to show now is basically autonomous engineering colleges in karnataka and based on vtu website link here so there are approximately 13 8 such engineering colleges up to date status and i will talk about them in now so it is in the alphabetic order which is given here so first college is alvas institute of engineering and technology in mudbidri in mangalore district so you can uh, if you are from coastal karnataka you can go for this college second college is atria institute of technology bangalore this has become autonomous from the last year right so this is option available under autonomous in bangalore bms college again of engineering is again top under top 3 engineering colleges in karnataka so it is autonomous from long time almost 30 30 40 years moving further ballari institute of technology and management ballari which is in uh, uh, you know hyderabad karnataka region and it's one of the good options and this is also autonomous from last 5 years at least bangalore institute of technology bangalore uh, which is also a very good option in terms of placements and this college has become autonomous from the last year so it is recently become autonomous college Bapuji Institute of Engineering and Technology in Davangere this has also become an autonomous college very recently last year right similarly BMS IT which is BMS Institute of Technology is an quite excellent option in Bangalore and it's autonomous for at least 5 to 6 years right so this is good option you can definitely consider next college in the list is bnm institute of Te technology in bangalore which is also a good option and it, this college has become autonomous almost 4 to 5 years back so it is also having a decent placement and students can go for it based on the ranks cambridge institute of technology cit bangalore which has the main campus in kr puram this college has become recently autonomous in 2024 right so this is one year of autonomous course is over so this is also a average option decent to average option if you are not getting the top colleges then you can go for cambridge institute of technology dhanan sagar academy of technology and management dscetm dhanan sagar group college this college became uh, autonomous in 2023 so two years have passed but no batches have got and it also has a decent placement for the top branches which is computer uh, csc and ec branches up to that you can take here next college on the list is dhanan sagar college of engineering this is the main campus of dhanan sagar which is in kumar swami layout and this is the old and oldest and established college this is the one of the top 10 college in karnataka and uh, this is autonomous for long years so it is very old 40 to 50 years old college ambedkar institute technology again it has become autonomous college from the previous batch 2023 and this is also a good option if you are not getting in top 15 to 20 colleges in karnataka you can go for it these are again two more college of 
East Point College of Engineering and Technology and East West Institute of Technology in both are in Bangalore and they have become autonomous only in the last year. So placement wise they are not the top notch options but they have become autonomous now last year. I think they will be improving on their st structure overall things and placements soon right. But uh, I will make a separate video of this and you can check after that if it is worthwhile taking. But these two colleges are also worth, uh, you know, autonomous from last year. Now the next college on the list is Global Academy of Technology. This college is autonomous for 7 to 8 years and it is also an average to decent option for the computer science related branches and it is based out of Bangalore. So I'll make a detailed review of each of this college placement for 2024-25 so that you have more details available. Next college on the list is KLS Gokte Institute of Technology which is in Belagam and this is quite excellent placements and very good option can be considered under the top 20 colleges in Karnataka you can go for it. Next college on the list is Maharaja Institute of Technology which is in Belavadi Mysore and this has also become an autonomous college just from the last year. Uh, it is having an average placement. I will make a. I will try to make a placement video for this college. MS Ramayya Institute Technology is the best colleges in the top three in Karnataka. So it is autonomous from long years and it's one of the most established. So I have presented the uh, video review for this. Now let's move. So there is another college, Malnad College of Engineering Hassan. This is old and established college. Again, 30 to 40 year old college and it's autonomous for many long years. So this is on the list. Next college and Mangalore Institute of Technology and Engineering Might Mudbidri, which is good autonomous options in the coastal Karnataka, Mangalore region. And this has become autonomous from 2023 batch. And soon you are going to get the latest placement videos about these colleges. MVJ College of Engineering is also autonomous college. Now Nagarjuna College of Engineering and Technology in Bangalore Rural is an autonomous college for many years. So you will get the latest placement details soon to decide if you want to go for them or not. New Horizon College of Engineering is a good option in Bangalore, Bangalore and under top 20 Karnataka KSET colleges. It's not part of the Comet K. So it is only under KSET. Niti Minakshi Institute of Technology and MIT is now part of Niti University so it is not going to take admission through KSET and Comet K. Next college which has become autonomous last year is PDA College of Engineering in Kalburgi right and I will try to make videos about these colleges. PS College of Engineering Mandya is a very uh, decent college and you can go for that in the mid range level and it will be under top 25 to 30 colleges in Karnataka and I'll try to make the latest placement video of 2025 for this also. RV College of Engineering definitely in the number one college always in the placement terms it's autonomous. RR Institute Technology in Bangalore is become the latest college in 2024 and got the autonomous status. Again I'll try to find some placement detail and try to evaluate if it's a good option. Next is Raj Rajeshwari College of Engineering it has also become autonomous from 2024 batch and I'll make the latest placement video. RNSIT I have already created a video and this is a good option for student who want to study in top 20 colleges in Karnataka. Next is SJCIT this has also become an autonomous college from the 2024. So latest edition I will try to get some more details about the placement. Sahadri College of Engineering and Management in Adyar Mangalore is one of the good options in the coastal Karnataka Mangalore region and it has become autonomous from 2023 batch. So this is good option. SDM College of Engineering and Technology in Dharwad is very old and established college and it is an autonomous college for very long years. Similarly, Siddhaganga Institute Technology in Tumkur is one of the excellent college options in the top 20 and I have made the review video recently and it is one of the top notch autonomous options in Karnataka. Now let's move to the college number 35th SJB Institute Technology. It's also a good option and uh, it was become autonomous in 2023 batch. St. Joseph Engineering College, it does not accept Comet K. But it is a good option for autonomous colleges in Mangalore region and it accepts KSET course and it is a minority college. Moving further, the NI Mysore, again one of the top notch option, top 10 options in Karnataka like is an autonomous engineering college for many years and very old and established college and similarly the last one on the list is Vidya Vardhaka College of Engineering in Mysore. So this has been autonomous college again from last 7 to 8 years at least and it's a good option in Mysore. So that's all the list of complete colleges under autonomous status in VTU. 
Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get, get similar updates on all the colleges.